Hello everybody. In this video, I want to show you how to delete entries or data from a database table in SAP. There are two ways. First, I want to delete the uh, entry with the help of a structure. And second, we delete the entries with an internal table. As you can see, I have already code here. This code is from a former video of mine where I insert data or, or entries to a database table. And I will uh, link this video in the corner top right. And so you can use this code for this video. First, let's start with a command this the insert code. And then I want to uh, uh, make a short explanation about this code. You can see we have a, a structure and an internal table here. Then we set the data to the structure and we append this structure to the internal table. And the second block, we set another structure and append this structure to the internal table as well. So we have one structure and an internal table with two records. And first, I want to delete one uh, record with the structure. And so I write delete spfly from ls spfly. And I want to uh, go to output if the deletion was OK. So if sysupc is zero, I write entry deleted. If not, I write an error. The error uh, could be uh, there is no entry found or the entry is locked. And at the end, we can write uh, uh, deleted records with the two parameter two db count. Okay, let's do the pretty print and activate the code. Then uh, let's have a look to the structure. So we see this is the structure we use. And let's have a look to the data in the table. We see, okay, there is an entry with con ID 2 and care ID AA. So the program should delete this record. Then let's run the code and we see, okay, entry one entry is deleted. So we go back. Let's have a look to the table. We refresh the table and we see the record with the con ID two is deleted. So if we run this program again, we should get an error because there is no entry in the database and yes, there's an error and no entry is deleted because there is no entry in the database. Okay, the next uh, thing is we delete the data with the help of an internal table. For this, we command this statement and we write delete spfly from table lt spfly. Ready, print. And now every entry in the internal table should be deleted on our database table. So then let's have a look. We have uh, 
one uh, entry with the corner D1. This is our first structure. And in our internal table, we have two records. So uh, the program should delete one record and we should get one error because of the second entry. And yeah, let's uh, run the code. Okay, we have activate first, then run the code. Okay, and then we see we get an error, but we have also deleted one entry. And now we should uh, change the code so that we uh, get more information about the deletion or uh, about the error. And for this, we want uh, to check the database if the entry is uh, in the database. And for this, we command this or we delete this code because we do the extension now. And for the, the next code, we need another variable called lsdb sp fly of type sp fly in this structure we write the uh, data from the database and here we make the loop over the internal table we loop at lt sp fly into ls sp fly And then we make the select with the date of the uh, structure. So we write select single into lsdp fly. From sp fly where here ID equals ls sp fly here ID and con ID equals ls sp fly con ID. Okay. And now we uh, we we check the database if the uh, the record exists, and we check this with the structure lsdp sp fly. If this structure is not initial, so we know the entry is in the database, and now we can do the delete. We write delete sp fly from ls sp fly okay and now we want to check if the deletion was successful and now we check if to super c equals zero then we write entry deleted And we write some uh, other information uh, about the con ID and the care ID. So we write here the, 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 the content of these two variables, lssp fly care ID and lssp fly con ID. So we know later which record is deleted. else and if there was an error we write entry 
not found, may be blocked. And we write here the information about the care ID and con ID as well. So let's copy this and paste it. Okay, and and if and if we don't find the record, we write. Oh. There is a mistake we should write here not entry not found because entry not uh, we should write here entry not deleted because we have the entry in the database. Okay, and here we write entry not found. Okay. And we write here also the information about the care ID and the con ID. Yes, then and if. And we clear here the structure lsdb as we fly. Because if we don't, uh, if we don't find the record from the database, the structure is already filled with the former found record. And so we have to clear this. Okay, so pretty print. And let's activate the code. Okay, there's, there's an error. Let's see. Okay, we need the, the host variables here in the select statement. Okay, let's activate again, yes. And now let's run the program. Okay, uh, the two entries of our internal table is not found. So there is no entry with the Kanadi one and Kanadi two. So let's have a look to the table. And yes, there is no, no entry. Or there are no entries from our internal table. And now let's. Uh, I want to add this entry. I want to insert this entry. So I use my former program. And I run this. Yes, uh, we inserted two records in the table SP fly. And now let's change the program back. So let's have a look to the table. We refresh this table. And yes, we see there are two new records added one with the con ID one, and second with the con ID two. And now we want to delete these two records. Let's run the code and we see. The two records are deleted with the con ID 1 and 2. And let's refresh this table. You know, these records are deleted. And now let's refresh. Yes, they are gone. Okay. That was it already. I hope you liked the video. If this so, I would be happy if you subscribe my channel. Please leave some comments if you want. And I hope we see us again in some of my next videos. Thank you and goodbye.